Okay, in this video I want to show you how to change out a screen on an HP Pavilion G6. Uh, this method will work on other HP laptops um, as well. Uh, Pavilions or HP 2000s or whatever you have. Um, the you know you're, the reason you're doing it is it's like your screen's got bleeding on it. You might have lines on the sc on the screen. Um, it might flicker. Um, or just might be pitch dark and you've discovered that it just needs a new screen. Um, the first thing you want to do is change out the, take off the bezel. The screen bezel is this plastic thing frame that goes around the screen. And what you want to do is unsecure it and take it off of the, uh, the laptop lid. Um, and to do that, what you're going to do is you want to look at all four corners of your screen. And you're going to remove any end caps and screws that you see on the four corners. All right, uh, an end cap, you know, is like a little piece of plastic rubber thing that covers it with a little bit of adhesive. Um, and I don't know if you, if you, just to show you what I'm talking about, it's what it looks like. It's like a little piece of plastic that'll go over the over the screw. And the tools that you're going to need for this, you're going to need a flathead, little little small flathead screwdriver. Or you could actually use a steak knife, and then you're going to need a a little smaller Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, this laptop here. So we're going to look at all four corners. Left top left corner, there's no end caps, so that one's unsecure. It's only being held on by the, the little plastic rivets that you just basically you pull off. Of course, right corner will be the same as the upper left corner. Okay, on the very bottom, as you can see here, it doesn't look like there's an end cap, but there actually is. If you can see here on the on the very bottom, there's that's actually an end cap. Okay, and then of course on the opposite bottom right side, you're going to have the exact same thing. So what I want to do is take my little little flathead, and then I want to pry it off. Uh, if for whatever reason you damage your little end cap it's not the end of the world you can just leave it the way it is it cosmetically it doesn't look bad if it if it does come off so that's that one Got that one. So it doesn't look like it would go back on there nicely anyway. So, all right, and then of course you're going to take your Phillips and we're going to unscrew. Both ends here. All right, so that means your bezel should be unsecured now off of the uh, lid. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to use your little flathead again and you're going to use a little bit of force go up under the screen here and what you're going to do is you go around it right. and you pull that one came off pretty nicely and it should just lift off so that's your bezel alright now as you can see here the screens are um, available here so what, like I said what you're going to do is you're going to undo the two screws on the corners. One, two. All right. Now when this gets a little bit loose, um, normally you would undo the uh, the webcam off that. That came off anyway. All right. So what I'm going to do here is go around the um, the frame. And as you can see here on the frame, there's usually either two to three screws that's holding off, holding each side of the left or right. There's one. Let's see one none there and there's two All right, there's 
one. Two. And then I'll get this other side here. your webcam cable it's usually just held on by adhesive and you're going to pull it off right down to there and then you're going to see a um, you're going to see a video cable here that's hooking up the screen to the laptop and what you want to do is you want to undo the tape you want to pull that out And you're gonna see the video attached, the video cable, v, the VGA cable attached to the actual screen. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it off. And there's probably some adhesive holding down the bottom part. And then pull. And that's the only thing holding your screen down. And the best thing to do is to purchase one. I'd recommend a used one. But you can buy a brand new one or you can buy a used one on Amazon or uh, eBay.com. And what you want to do is look for the serial number or the uh, model number. And that's the best way to look. You're going to be able to get it cheaper if you know the model number as opposed to typing in on eBay. If you typed in uh, HP, you know, G6 or whatever it is, laptop screen, you end up paying about 20% more doing that. So, what you want to want to do is try to pull out a model number on the back of your screen. And as you can see, this one is an L Peace and Paul 156WH2. Alright, and then I went ahead and bought one. As you can see here, they do match up. And then this um, will go into my to my laptop. And like again, like to do that again. The only thing you have to do is um, plug in the model number into eBay. Go to Buy It Now, Lois first, and you should only have to pay about 30, 40, 50 bucks at the very most, and you should get it within a week. Um, and then you should be out up and rolling. And pretty much what what you want to do is you're going to reverse everything you just did. You know, you're going to put that back there. Put on your VGA cable here. And you might want to, you could actually add some more tape there. And then um, redo the screws on the left and the right. Put your webcam cable back in. Put your bezel back in and then put your screws. And then if you want to put your end caps back on, you can. All right, it's a pretty easy procedure. It should take you less than 20 minutes. If you get experience with it, it'll take you five minutes. All right, thanks for watching.